On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Now, in the morning here, I have three stories to bring forth to you, the regular members of Chan Public and members of the diaspora. So no need for stay tuned because you know definitely not go on Mr. One here. Yeah. So remember if you like the blog, share the blog and also watch the entire video so you can get a full understanding of everything we are going. So in recent times and recent blogs, I've made mention to those living in the St. Elizabeth space to be careful and be weary about those outsiders living within your space or coming within your space and to alert the members of the authorities to any suspicious activities we want to see. Well, me I tell you, you know, my peeps, this thing here is very, very real because outside elements continue to come inside the St. Elizabeth space and also the Manchester space to corrupt their environment. Now, the first thing that we are going to talk about, a four-year-old dirty corner boy, may I tell you, where the police them take off of the street yesterday to include an illegal firearm. So, I'm going to play the video and, of course, I'm going to talk about everything we're going on tonight. So, this is the video on your screen right now of the police accosting the old dirty criminal elements them. So the official police report as it relates to this particular incident is that the police patrol team received information via radio transmission that a robbery was committed in the Manchester Police Division and that the men were travelling in a white Nissan AD wagon registered 7814KE. It is also believed that the men were armed. The vehicle was spotted and intercepted along Coke Drive in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. A search of the vehicle and of the persons in that vehicle led to the police recovering a 9mm pistol along with a magazine containing 8 9mm cartridges. Some peeps, the thing gets serious right as so. up. The search continued and also led the police to recover cell phones, money and also tools, namely a chainsaw from that motor vehicle. Now, the accused men, they are from different areas, but one of the accused men definitely strike up some attention to on the spot news media who want to continue to listen to what go on. Now, the first old dirty corner boy where the police them will lamp on. Is a 30 year old man known as Cruz Keith Palmer, otherwise known as Fata, in the street. The second old dirty criminal element to the police, them whole pan, is known as Grades in the streets, but his birth name is Chadwick Rochester Brooks. Number three, Kevin O'Brien Brissett, otherwise known as Bakho, he's age 26. And by the way, Chadwick Rochester Brooks is only 19 years of age. And on a see which part him find for himself. But the fourth and last accused is the one that is cause for concern. His name is O'Shane Shavan Level, otherwise known as Maroon Boss, age 32. He's a so-called entertainer. Yeah, man, him say my artist, but definitely not the smartest. But guess which part him come from? 31 Johns Road, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. That is the area of concentration where the police is at right now. One of the areas that is involving the now flare up of gang war and gang violence in the St. Catherine community of Johns Road. So, you see how them boy I move? Not more than this old dirty boy I wanted for Sydney, you know, and take away himself, or probably him is just a little regular shatis in the streets, and just decides him to go group up him cronies, and definitely have one man from the area for traverse the streets with, and link up and go commit a whole heap of armed robbery out of port, then them come back in a town and chill and bill and broth, and laugh with them loot. 
So it is really imperative that any time you see some strange faces in our know, place, down a country there, around a bush mouth there, you know, need to make the authorities them know, to get them all criminal elements there out of our know, place quick and fast. Yeah, man. So yesterday, I did a blog. Yesterday evening, I did a blog with a shocking finding by the police around a back road there. So them find a pro box. With two body wrapped up in a tarpaulin, well nice and neat, and stuck in at the back of the pro box and just left on the roadside for passers by find it. Well, as I said yesterday, on the spot news media, if you go do some digging and find out who them man there and where them come from. Now I'm here this morning to deliver. The two deceased men has been identified as follows. Number one, Andre Dixon, otherwise known as Blacks, age 27, a so-called businessman from 15 McVigars Lane in a Spanish town, St. Catherine. Note which part that one they come from. And this man I know on your screen, known as Ricardo Garden, otherwise known as Jaja, age 48, unemployed from Madrid Avenue in Homestead, Spanish town, St. Catherine. Uno a tie in the knots, uno a put the thing them together right you now. Uno see where I go on. Them two body here with the man them find at the pro box definitely have something to do with what I go on over Spanish town. So Spanish town, clap where basically two more in the gang war where I go on over there. So the police are basically saying that they received information from citizens that about 8 p.m. a white Toyota Probox motor car bearing registration plates 2914JJ was seen parked along the roadway and a man was seen exiting the same motor vehicle on foot leaving the area. So about 1 p.m., the nephew of the registered owner who rented the vehicle to Andre Dixon, otherwise known as Blacks, two weeks ago, and he tried to contact Mr. Dixon earlier yesterday morning, but he tried without success. He tracked the motor vehicle that was equipped with a tracking device and drove to the location where he saw the car parked on the road, locked up. He opened the car with a spear key that he had and that is when he found the bodies wrapped in blue tarpaulin. Hence, he went to the Gregor Park police station and reported the matter. The police made checks and both bodies were found. It is also said that both deceased were found with their mouth gag and with what appears to be gunshot wounds to their heads. Yeah, man, may I tell you, the man them deal with the thing a certain type of way. It is is theorized that the men were definitely slaughtered elsewhere and transported to that area. So my peeps, the Spanish town thing here, really I get grimy. <laughs> yeah man, may I tell you. And unconfirmed reports suggest that Ricardo Garden, otherwise known as Jaja, is also a reputed gangster from the Homestead area. But on the spot news media definitely I forgot to do some more digging to find out the personality, persona of Jaja and why the man them shoop the car and them in a him and him friend Black's head and carry them go over dike road, go left them. Yeah man. And the man them deal with it in such a type of way where definitely I send a message. Now same place over there in the homestead area. Last night, the man them bullied up a woman and injuring another. Boy, me I tell you, say, the man them over Spanish town, I deal with the thing grimy. As me say, it seems as if some sort of tag team business are going on with the criminal elements in a Jamaica. When one set are going too bad for a while, them just tag team. Another set and say, yo, we're going to cool out now. And uno just take the lead full speed ahead, same way. Giving the members of the Jamaica Defense Force and members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force some work, whether or not them want it. So over there in St. Catherine, as me say, over there in the Homestead community, a woman get a portion to can to her skin last night in the wee hours. I tell you, the man them deal with the thing a certain type of way and another person get injured in that same incident. So all of that go on in the latest spate of violence that has been occurring in the capital, the old capital that is of Spanish town. The name of the deceased woman has not yet been released but on the spot news media gathered information that she is indeed the mother of a gang member. So you know say the thing 
turn up one little way right now. Because two fathers of two gang members end up losing them three pints. Now the mother of a gang member lose fair three pints. The thing now go normal as Spanish town. Right now this now go done. No time soon. Because once parents start losing them life, you know, you know so the gangsters, them, the old dirty criminal elements, them, I go take that personal and serious and more innocent family members from other gangsters are going to lose them life in a this. So yesterday, you know, me do a blog and I say, boy, whosoever can run need to lift up out of the place. Right, you know, and people are say, yo, on the spot news media, what kind of talk that you make, Jaja? It seems as if like you give up on the country star coming like you give up on Jamaica. Me never say me give up, brothers and sisters. Me just I say, who can run need to run because not everybody is like on the spot news media who can protect himself a certain type of way. Some people are very much open and vulnerable out there and it do make no sense if you have someone can take away yourself go. You stay in a them community there where the gang war are going to end up losing your life you better get take away yourself and go somewhere else go start over turn a clean sheet yeah man and just start over your life and just stay away from all the toxic people and the toxic energy in the area where you live so the same thing me i tell them people are right and i will live in and around the spanish town environment for you know say you're in a arms way and you can lift up out of the place lift up out of the place yeah man and we are talk to the innocent bystanders because a lot of these family members you know trust me you know them not involved in the slackness where i go on you know i just them family involved in the slackness where i go on so we uno need for do to as family members are close friends of these criminal elements we are plague on the community uno need to understand the things say for a life in serious jeopardy right and also uno more than anybody else need for work with the authorities for rid the communities of some of uno very friends and family so the communities can return Turn to what it once was. Some sort of little peace and tranquility can drop back in the thing some sort of way. Even though those communities mentioned we are talking about the homestead, we are talking about the tar spend and all the areas in Spanish town where give problem. The Macook spend, the De La Vega City, the Johns Road, the whole nine yards, the Ellesley Pen, Irish Pen, you name it. All of the pen them. Yeah man, all of the pen them from over the man. I get problem from ever since. But for some reason, some of them did cool for a long while like those where a flare up in the gang war. Right and now, them areas there, they get no whole heap of problem like that for a good little while. So now I guess the team tag them and say, yo, a phone a time and now for show them what time it is. So those who are living in those environments, if you can run, my advice to you, run. Yeah man, so anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.